Hello, my name is Dr. Jay Mako. I'm a cerebrovascular neurosurgeon and vice chair of neurosurgery at Mount Sinai. I had the good fortune today to present the results of the COMPASS trial at the International Stroke Conference on behalf of the COMPASS investigators as well as my co-principal investigators. The COMPASS trial was a prospective, randomized, uh, blinded assessment clinical trial to evaluate the non-inferiority of aspiration thrombectomy as compared to stent retriever thrombectomy. Over the past uh, three years, there's been a huge growth in the amount of patients who receive treatment by taking the blood clot out of the head and restoring blood flow to the brain. Uh, this started with a number of positive trials uh, published three years ago at this meeting. Those trials changed the face of medical care for stroke patients. However, the majority of the patients treated in those trials were treated with a particular device, a stent retriever. And as a result, uh, there was a question of whether or not the use of that stent retriever was mandatory for the treatment of this patient population. At the same time, there's been developing data suggesting that instead of using a stent retriever to grab a hold of and pull the clot out, another potentially excellent way to treat stroke is to bring a catheter up to the front of the clot and literally just suck it right out with aspiration. And so the COMPASS trial was the first prospective randomized trial designed specifically to assess whether if you use the aspiration versus the stent retriever, the clinical outcomes for the patients are the same. We are happy to report today that the data demonstrates quite strongly that aspiration thrombectomy is non-inferior to stent retriever thrombectomy. And the clinical outcomes were essentially the exact same in every ass assessment that we performed. Additionally, the safety data <coughs> was also completely equivalent across the two arms of the study. Lastly, the technical data on the time and the quality of the restoration of blood flow uh, was also equivalent. There was some consistent numeric advantage in the aspiration arm. However, this did not reach statistical significance and the trial was not designed uh, to identify that. Additionally, COMPASS is designed to evaluate the cost of the two arms. However, that data is not yet available and that analysis is ongoing and we hope to provide that in the near future. We're excited about the impact of this data because this is the first head-to-head -head trial assessing clinical outcomes of two techniques in the new thrombectomy era and it has now opened the door to alternative mechanisms for treating stroke. This is not to say that stent retriever thrombectomy is not of incredible value, it is but both modalities have an important role in treating stroke patients. And with this data, we hope physicians will feel empowered to use whichever approach they feel makes the most sense for their patients and ultimately result in better patient outcomes uh, across the globe.